The Square Kilometre Array is a series of radio telescopes more powerful than ever before. This massive project, consisting of 3,000 antennas spread over thousands of kilometres, is funded by an international consortium that will spend over 23 billion rand to construct the SKA. The radio telescope can be seen as a time machine, in that if you're looking up at the stars, you're seeing light that has been travelling through the universe for thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of years. Scientists will use the SKA to search for answers about how stars and galaxies are formed, and will help unravel the mysteries of the laws of nature and physics, advancing humanity and our understanding of the cosmos with all this beautiful black holes and mysterious dark matter. South Africa and Australia are currently in close competition for the bid. Sarah Wilde, journalist and author of Searching the Skies, explains her take on the bid. The reality that South Africa as a country can hold can host a world-class scientific instrument. Because at the moment, I don't know if you saw the reports or the comments by the Australian Minister of Science and Technology, um, Senator Chris Evans, mm -hmm. who said that the only reason South Africa would get the SKA would, would be because of a pity vote by Europe, which basically means that they don't think we can do it. So to get the SKA would show them just what Africa is capable of and dispel a lot of the rumors and Afro-pessimism about the country. The important thing to remember is that we have the Meerkat project. Um, irrespective of whether South Africa wins or loses the SKA, we will have the Meerkat, which is like an SKA precursor. It's a 64-dish array which will be on the same site. And if we get the SKA, then it gets incorporated into that. And if we don't, we will still have the largest radio telescope in the Southern Hemisphere until the SKA is built. I mean, the Meerkat is an incredible instrument in its own right and entirely South African funded, so we're not relying on anyone else. When we first joined the SK project, we came on as a, as a new kid on the block, effectively. Uh, everyone was surprised, uh, didn't really take us seriously until we actually got shortlisted. And, people, and then we started building the Mirka telescope. So, you know, people suddenly changed their view of, of South Africa. People started to actually believe that, you know, South Africans could produce uh, you know, world-class science, technology, innovation. But I think regardless of the SKA, um, you know, just the Meerkat project in itself is a, is a world-class project and it's going to produce a, a world-class facility and world-class engineers and scientists. Um, and it will be one of the top facilities in the world uh, until the SKA comes along. No matter the outcome, South Africa will be the dominant player in global astronomy because of Meerkat and the significant South African involvement in this international project. This is Martin Blizzard for SciTV, Grabstar.